Uh, the rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. So, we don't have a lot of a scrap, so we'll go to the stress signal instead of the store. Uh, you follow the destruct distress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail them. They respond, help, our shields are down, we won't last long. Uh, try to shield their ship with yours. Or don't risk it. Hmm. Well, if we try to shield them and it doesn't work, we're gonna lose a lot of hull. But our hull is pretty good, so we'll try it. Nice. You try your best, but one stray rock hits a key structure in their ship, breaks apart in front of your eyes. You salvage what you can before leaving and try not to think about the lost crew. Ah, screw them. At least our ship didn't get damaged. Okay, uh, hmm. If we go down there, we might get trapped. So we'll go over here first. Okay, uh, you arrive and detect signs of a battle. A few ships are taking passes at each other near a small station. You don't know if it's a territory issue, a contest, or a rite of passage, but you decide it's best to stay out of it. Yep, probably it's best to stay out of it. So we're getting a little low on fuel. Only nine jumps. Uh, the burnt out hull of a rock mine layer drifts by. Behind the wreck drifts a live mine, an automated drone that drills into ship's hulls before exploding. It locks on your ship signature and heads your way. Uh, the ship's uh, turning circle proves too wide and the mine bites down onto the hull. You can hear it now, it's chewing through the armor. Ooh. Uh, attempt a controlled detonation using a missile. Ah, we'll do that. Dang it. After drawing straws, a crew member goes out to fix a modified warhead to the mine. You detonate the missile in a way that dislodges the mine. It blows up shortly after. The ship takes some damage in the blast, but you're still sailing. Alright, poor dam. Damage to hull. Uh, yeah. It's not great, but we have 73 scrap now. So the next, uh, store we find, we should be able to get something cool. Um, hmm. Go up. Yeah, uh, or down. I think we'll go down. <clears throat> you encounter a rock vessel and attempt to open training frequencies, but they take it as an act of cultural transgression and open fire. <laughs> Dang. Wow! They have four guns? Alright. We're gonna fess. Uh, yeah. We're gonna target our ion cannon at their shields, because what ion does is it like disables that system. So if we go after shields, it, it'll disable it, and then we should be able to take out their guns. Because they have four guns! We're going to get wrecked otherwise. So they have a missile, laser... Uh-oh. Oh gosh, it hurt. That, that hurt me. So we took out one of their guns. But we are still getting wrecked. Dang it, it missed! Alright, we got to focus... On their, uh, yeah, we'll keep their shields down with our eye on cannon. Gotta keep their guns down as well. Let's target their engine, actually, so that they can't get away. Other uh, systems suffering the rock ships attempts to make contact. Alien vessel, cease your attack, we will pay. Nah, screw you. You're dead. You attacked me. What did we get? Oh wow, the ship explodes leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap metal. Nice, a fuel and 30 scrap. That definitely paid off. Alright, we need to find a sh uh, store now, so I have a hundred scrap. As soon as you arrive, you hear the telltale sounds of a teleporter and shouts reverberating through the ship. Prepare to burn fleshy meat. Oh gosh, three rocks? Alright, well we definitely need our health online. Because... Dude, the rocks are like super powerful. But since we have. Since they chose to attack in our med bay, we can actually heal our guys while they're attacking. Yeah, because the rocks have 150 health, while our guys only have 100. But they're idiots. Oh gosh. Please don't hurt me. Solar flare. Uh oh. Um. Okay. You, uh, NG, go and heal that. You go heal that. You go that and th get that. Uh, go help him. Oh gosh, I need to get that out of here. Pilot, go pilot. 
Uh, we need our auction back online. Oh gosh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Get those cameras back online! Our ship's gonna burn! Um, okay, we can cut that off. Oh uh, gosh, how are we gonna fix this? Go and get it. Please. Let's get the heck out of here. Um, go up here. So we can repair our ship. Oh boy. Okay, so that's good. Alright. So we just need to heal our guys now. Whew. That was a close one. Actually, no, we need to get our oxygen up. We'll go ahead and heal our guys. Butters. Good old Butters. Alright, Alex. He's getting... He's getting his guns pretty good. Sim. Shield. Alright. Uh, return to your positions. Oh. <laughs> I put them in the wrong spot. Alright, Butters. Go back to the engines. And I gotta save his position. Okay. Oh, right. I don't have any power on the engine. Uh, take it from the med bay. And let's get the heck out of here. Please find a ship sometime. Or a store sometime soon. Uh, you find a slug cruiser and rock ship at a standoff, both with weapons armed and ready to fight. You could intervene before this gets out of hand. Sure, we'll hail them. Uh, the slug captain explains that they upgraded the rock ship reactor, and now the thick boulder heads are refusing to pay for the work done. The rock captain says the slime balls did a poor job, and it is not worth the agreed price. Alright, we'll offer to pay the rock debt. You pay off the ro debt, the rock captain still seems annoyed at the slug getting their undeserved scrap, but at least the situation remains peaceful. The slug captain offers a free reactor upgrade. Nice. So now we actually get two door engine. Get our evade up. All right, please let this be a store. I need I need the store sometime soon. Dang it! Allow thudders on throughout the ship. After jump completion, you've just shunted a rock fighter, and he's already preparing to fire. Dang it! And it's two shields, so the ions definitely going after the shields. Yep extra over to charge though. So that'll take out the shields completely. So it'll be nice and safe. Wait, it only took out one of them? What? You're supposed to take out both of them. And our missile completely missed. Oh, they got resisted. What? I don't know if that could happen. Uh, shit, let's go after their oxygen. Nah, we'll keep it in there. We have to save our missiles now, even though we could fire. We only have five of them left. And I'm not seeing a store anytime soon. And we're completely... Our shields, like, they can't hit through our shields, those lasers. So we're fine. Actually get that under there. I want to take out the engine with our ions. Our ions. <laughs> Come on, hit them. Hit them already. Why do they keep on resisting? Alright. Well. Hmm. Ah, we gotta take out their guns again. Nice! My guy upgraded on his guns. So it charges 10% faster. How fancy. Wow, and he got upgraded. Oh no. I just showed it. Like a little, a little bit better. Okay. Uh, wow, this is taking forever. Without firing missiles, it takes forever. But we'll be fine. They can't get through our shields. And we're just wrecking them. Uh, the rock ship moves into a de defensive position and transmits a white flag signal. They seem willing to buy their lives. Uh, three fuel. We need fuel missiles. And yeah, we, we need the fuel missiles. So. Nice! A store! And it goes right to the exit. <laughs> This is perfect. Uh, with the local rock settlement so unwilling to trade with other life forms, an opportunistic Mantis crew has postponed its piracy activities and set up shop to catch any passing trade. Alright. So we can get Grozzly, a rock, uh, Big B, immune to fire, minimum speed is half, max health, max health is increased. So we definitely need to fix our ship for 18. Wow. A Pegasus missile? Creative missile design allows for two projectiles for the cost of one. 
requires missile shots per charge two, normal damage two, shield piercing five. Wow, that seems awesome. Uh, charge time seventeen, two times damage on systemless rooms, breach damage low, fire chance low. Mm, what else do they have? Uh, prevents your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak. Oh, that's cool. Oh, not many stuff. Uh, boost the ship's shield recharge rate by fifteen percent. Uh, we can sell this ion bomb, I guess. Because we don't really need it. Uh, we can get a missile, but they only sell four. Uh, we can sell our Artemis missile. Because it kind of sucks. Normal damage, two. And we can get one of these. Uh, so, charge time 17. Charge per charge, two, though. This is two times damage on systemless rooms. Uh, Normal damage, two. Ship piercing, five. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the two shots because it's required power three charge time. Yeah, this is required power two though, and normal damage two. Ah, well, we'll go for the fixes. And we'll fix our ship. Repair. Uh, should we buy some fuel, or should we get Bigby, or should we get the shield charge booster? Hmm. It's a little risky not to buy any fuel, but boost the ship sh shield recharge rate. Nah, ah, uh, hmm. I think we'll go for the fuel. And get Bigby. Oh, welcome aboard, Bigby. We actually need to heal this guy up for some reason. He took damage. Um, hmm. We're gonna put him on camera duty so we can see the enemy's ship. That seems good. And let's get the heck out of here. Next system. Uh, it looks like this beacon is home to a rebel checkpoint. They're stopping and searching any ship that passes through. Civilians are being harassed and Federation members are detained. The rebels haven't noticed you yet. Stay quiet. Uh, attack and escape. Hmm. I think we're going to stay quiet. Uh, Mantis homeworld. All right. Do it. Uh, you've entered a poorly charged area of space that's known to be home to the mantis. Uh, ensure your whole planning is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Alright. I actually want to set up our guns so it's like this. Alright. Because that takes three, that takes two. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So we got our missile. And there are 14 of them, so we should be good. Uh, distress, distress, and store. Ah, uh, I guess we'll go to this distress first. We only have six fuel, which is a little wearing. Uh, the ship emitting the distress beacon message you. Sorry to bother you, but we're out of fuel and can't get out of this barren sector. Could you help us? Oh, gosh. I only have six fuel, and I can't really risk it. I apologize. Alright. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hope you don't die. Which probably will. Uh, the distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. We'll promise to help. Uh, you consider your options. Um, so we have an ion weapon to disable the defense system or an injury crew to remotely repair its charging system. I think I'll use our injury. Your crew member is able to remotely fix the glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. The station gives you a thing. Wow. 50 scrap and two missiles. Alright, let's go to the store. Pick up a little, some more fuel. Hopefully. Uh, uncertain about what you'll discover at this beacon, you scan the surrounding surroundings. You detect several warnings on wide bench and was discouraging any violence in protected trade space. Perhaps you can find some wares. So we can get a mantis. Right. If we sell something, like our drone that we aren't really using, uh, to them, uh, inflict 1.5 combat damage, 1.2 move speed, with half repair speed, another NG. Oh, his shields are all the way up too. 20% faster recharge, but his guns are all the way up. Hmm. I want to get one of these guys, but let's see. Alex is already all the way up on guns. And who's our shield guy? Stim. His, sh his shield is only half. So I think we're going to buy Steli. By selling our thingy. Ah, cloaking. 
Wow, it's 150 credits. And uh, I think we're going to get Steli and some fuel. Because the shield's all the way up. And as much fuel as we can. 10 fuel. Alright. So look at this. We got a full crew now. I will put this guy on doors. No, I think we're going to put him on, hit him on oxygen, maybe. Because they're always... Whenever you play, they're always, they always target oxygen, and it always gets destroyed. Like, the first thing. But, uh, it seems like such a waste. I mean, doors really only help for uh, when people are on board. Right? What do fast doors even do? I have no idea. Okay, uh, doors. Allows remote opening and closing uh, and blast doors. Eh, maybe they do something. Now keep on that. We've got a full crew now. Actually, oh gosh, I'm trapped. Uh oh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I trapped myself. All right, so we have to go here. Hopefully they don't uh, attack us. 